An update in a two-year-old hate crime that happened in the first few weeks of the pandemic. A teenager attacking an Asian family at the Midland Sam's Club in 2020. The FBI says he targeted them because he thought they were Chinese and spreading COVID. Tonight, we're following new developments in that shocking story. Rachel Robinson joins us with more information. Rachel. Good evening, Crystal. This is a face you might recognize. Jose Gomez III. He's 21 now, but was still a teenager when he first committed the crime. Tonight, he's pled guilty to three counts of committing a hate crime, a crime that many people in Midland remember well. Jose Gomez III was following around the family at the store because he thought they were, quote, from the country who started spreading that disease around. Jose Gomez eventually went after the father. He just, uh, he just, how to say, stuck uh, my face with a knife. Gomez also went after the two children, who were two and six at the time, slashing one of the children's face open. But a good Samaritan did step in. Then Sam's Club employee, Zach Owens. He went after Gomez to get the knife out of his hands and to save the family. He stepped in with his bare hands and he went in there, joined in on the fight against an individual who had a knife. Everyone in this incident did survive, but had some pretty bad injuries. Gomez was arrested. As he was restrained, Gomez was heard shouting, quote, get out of America. Tonight, an update. Gomez had pled guilty to three counts of committing a hate crime. He'll be tried in federal court and could face up to life in prison and hundreds of thousands of dollars in fines for each offense. That crime marked a surge in violence and hate crimes committed against members of the Asian American community across Texas and across the nation, all in the wake of the COVID pandemic. It's a surge we're still experiencing two years after the pandemic first began. If you believe you have been a victim of a hate crime or have witnessed one, you're encouraged to call the FBI at 1-800-CALL-FBI. Crystal.